Let's do a rant. I am in the biggest mood to do a rant. And this is a different rant than maybe one I would like to talk about or care to talk about for that matter because I really don't give a shit what other people do with their lives and I don't expect people to give a shit what I do with my life. But there is a huge problem in this world and I am seeing it pop up all over social media left and right. It's like, come on, come on people, wake up, realize what you are trying to defend and popularize. I am talking about the whole antisocial anxiety slash hating love movement that is kind of very relevant in society today. And I'm going to tell you why that is a huge problem and I'm going to break it down into bits and pieces. I'm going to talk about with the biggest one. Actually, I'm going to save that for last. I'm going to talk about one that's just not really whatever, you know, and that's love. I'm going to tell you something. Being in love with somebody and giving two shits about another person is not a big deal. Okay? It's a big deal when you're involved with somebody and caring for their emotions and expecting them to care for yours. That's a whole different level which could be talked about in a different video, but I'm just going to kind of break it down for you as quick as I can. There's nothing wrong with loving another person. There's nothing wrong with being single and there's nothing wrong with being committed. Like if you want to commit yourself to start a family, get married, whatever it is that you feel makes a commitment, you have to understand that it takes a lot of work and that it can't develop in a week or a month and sometimes it can't even develop within a year. Okay, I have been with somebody for four years and I'm still learning new things about them every day and they're still learning new things about me every day. And that's what makes it special about being in a relationship is the fact that you're getting to know this person on a personal level. Like you are totally dedicated into wanting to know their wants and needs and dreams and aspirations in life. There is nothing wrong with that. And I bet if you talk to somebody who's been with their partner, regardless of a marital status, say they've been together for 15, 20, maybe 30 years, they're going to tell you that they still are learning things about them every single day. And they're still growing as a couple, but they don't give up. And they're not just going to be like, oh, there's this girl that has this perfect body on Facebook and she's really fly, you know, she says all the funniest things in her statuses. She posts the funniest videos and pictures, memes. My girl over here has a pimple on her face. She likes to wear sweatpants. I don't give two shits about her because she is now completely imperfect compared to this girl here on Facebook. It just doesn't work that way, okay? If, if that's your mentality of, you know, finding true love and shit like that, like, get the fuck out of here. You're not meant for a relationship. You should not even be allowed to be in a relationship because if you, if it takes one person to really show you how imperfect your other half, supposedly, is, then obviously you don't understand the true definition of a relationship. You don't understand how mentally exhausting it can be to have to put up with somebody's shit for a long time. You don't understand what it takes to get to know this person, how they tick, what makes them smile, what their favorite things are, Th just general things like that. That's something that's a huge problem if you can't comprehend that or want to take the time to do that. The key word is people, patience. You have to have a lot of patience to be in a relationship. If you're getting engaged within two weeks to six months, I'm sorry, but I mean, it's not completely out there. I'm just saying it's, you're going to see a whole different world after all this. You're going to see a whole lot of shit after your first year of being with somebody. Granted, you get that far. But there is nothing wrong with being in love with somebody, dedicating your time to them. Like, just wanting to be with that person in general. And being single, I don't see anything wrong with that either. But going around parading me like, I would rather die than be with somebody. Like, the fucking single life is for me. Like, yeah, pizza, woohoo. Like, no. <laughs> if food is your life, great. <laughs> and if that's what works for you, good. But you can't just shit on people who are genuinely in love with somebody and that are taking their time to get to know them. So there is a huge problem, people, when you're shitting on others who are single 
or people who are in relationships. If you're just shitting on these people, that's wrong. You have no fucking right to be doing that to people. Vice versa. Exactly. It takes patience, everybody. It takes patience to be in a relationship. And some people just don't have the willpower to do that. And I can understand why there's this whole negative feelings floating about in that whole general community against people who are in love versus people that are single and vice versa. It's so mixed up, but it pisses me off when people are just like completely shitting on somebody. There's nothing wrong with being in love and there's nothing wrong with being single. Just don't shit on somebody's parade if they're happy with being who they are or being with you know, somebody else or with just themselves. There's just nothing wrong with it. And you know what? Fuck Valentine's Day, okay? You don't have to have somebody to celebrate Valentine's Day. Why do people think that it's just a, a huge deal? Like, okay, yeah, if, if you're in love and whatever, whatever, celebrate. If you don't want to do it, don't. Like, fuck you, who cares? Like, you understand what I'm saying right now? Like, it's just a huge problem and people are just being complete twats about the whole subject. So I'm, it's just one of those things that bother me and I just, I want people to understand that there's nothing wrong with being in love and there's nothing wrong with being single. The other thing that I really want to talk about is anti-social movement. Like, there is a huge difference between being genuinely anti-social. Like, you really can't help it. Like, you have something going on in your mind that just won't allow you to progress as being a human being and being sociable. And then there's the other part where it's trendy. You're just on a bandwagon because either your favorite character on your TV show is completely antisocial or you're seeing somebody like just loving pizza and fucking, you know, hating everybody else because it's cool to be antisocial. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Like, Fuck you in the ass with a huge cactus because there is nothing wrong with socializing. In fact, you want to know something? It is a whole other world that is just complete greatness. When you have somebody, like a group, or maybe it's just one or two people, to share your interests, desires, and all other shit with because it is great. Happiness is great when it's shared. So. Sitting there and being like, fuck life, I have my cat, I have my dog, like, fuck this shit, pizza, woo woo, you know. Honestly, side note, what the fuck is up with pizza being such a popular trendy thing? Like, is are people just now noticing that pizza is, like, freaking awesome to eat? Like, it's just, it's been around for how long and you're, you're now just noticing this? Like, mind blown. Anyways, I just, there's... There is just a huge difference between being shy and wanting to get out there versus somebody that just can't help it. And also versus people being fucking asinine and not wanting to be their own person and said they have to follow people on TV shows or the internet because they find it cool that this person does things on their own. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having alone time and doing things that you want to do by yourself, but I'm just telling you that... I like shit like that where I can be alone, like say I have some important thing I need to think about and I just want to be alone to think about it. Like great, I'll do that. But I also crave going out and talking to people. Like I grew up really shy and that's kind of hard to believe considering that I had a whole bunch of cousins to socialize with all my life and I've been around my cousins all my life. I am one of 87 grandchildren, okay? So it's kind of hard to really justify why I was so shy. But you know what? People are like that. And it takes time to develop a sort of a social skill to really use as a crutch, you know? Like to get out there and do shit. So, I mean, I get it. It's, it's not uncommon. But it is stupid when people are seeing memes being like, you know what? I got my cat, so fuck life, what is it anyway? Or being like, you know, it's just like, stop. Stop being a fucking asshat. Like, be your own person. You'll realize when you get out there and talk to people and make a friend or two or 20, who knows how many you'll make. But it's a different world when you just can creatively 
be yourself with other people and see that they're just as messed up as you are or they're having fun in life but they're doing it with you. You know, these are things people that we call memories. You can't have memories unless you have people or certain things to sh to stem it upon. It's <sighs> I just, I really don't know how far I can go on this topic without getting absolutely just completely mad about it. Like, I get it. It's just, I don't get the whole trendy aspect of it. Like, why are people acting this way? It just, it bothers me. So I'm just going to stop there because it's stupid to be antisocial and to think that it's cool to be antisocial. Okay, just because Daria was antisocial doesn't mean that she didn't crave having a friendship. Doesn't mean that she didn't have any friends because if you watch Daria, you will know she had some fucking friends, okay? The last bit is a huge deal to me. Something near and dear to my heart because I suffer with it. And it's the whole glamorizing anxiety. Okay. Can we just think about this for a second? What is so fucking cool about making anxiety trendy? There is nothing cool about anxiety. I suffer with anxiety so bad that I wish I could just turn it off and be a normal person. And said I'm seeing memes online being like, Oh my god! Like, I really want to love you and shit like that. My brain's telling me I'm too fat and all this bullshit, so I can't love you and blah blah blah. Anxiety. Woo! -hoo. No. Oh my god. Please, people, stop it. Stop having anxiety because it's cool to have anxiety. Come on. Do you not think that people that have a hundred percent like full blown anxiety? don't wish to be normal and where they don't have to constantly worry about their world just crashing down on them because of one little stupid thought running through their mind things that happened like 10 years ago just coming back to haunt them and to fucking just ruin their life um hello we all want to have normalcy in having anxiety like there are ways that we can control anxiety but when we see shit pop up in a meme that kind of completely relates to how we actually feel but then it's being popularized like haha ha, funny no it's not funny it pisses us off because you know what you're pretending to have anxiety because it's socially acceptable to have anxiety it should not be socially acceptable to have anxiety like it is stupid to have anxiety anxiety is dumb like, it is the worst fucking thing to happen in a person's life. And having dealt with it, it just, I can't even talk about it because it's so frustrating. Like, you are half of something else when you live with anxiety. Like, there is no way to describe anxiety because it is such a whole other universe. Like, you are an alien to this world because you are still trying to learn what the hell it is and why the hell it's there and why you just can't turn it off. So people, if you are having anxiety to be cool and to fit in with these memes on the internet, you need to go get yourself some help, okay? Get the hell out of here with that bullshit because nobody wants to see it, okay? Bye Felicia. Okay, so now that I've pretty much gotten everything out there out on the floor, because I can't talk about it anymore, it's just pissing me off thinking about it. I just want you to know that popularizing disorders, and I'm not trying to sound like a sensitive Sally here, I'm just trying to be real and tell you that if you can't be yourself and really see life through your own eyes, then you're not really living. You're just dead to the world and you're dead to yourself. Like, I just would recommend you to go outside in the real world and experience it through your own eyes, like get off the computer and go out and see for yourself. Life is beautiful. Anxiety is not. Being antisocial is not. And you know what? There's more to life than pizza, cats, and Disney movies and whatever else is trendy. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just go see the world. Go go to a rock show or go see Katy Perry or Britney Spears, whatever music you enjoy. 
go to Coachella, go to, you know, Soundset or wherever kind of music fests that are in your area, like whatever. Be a human being. Expand your butterfly wings and fly. It's a whole new world out there. Like, if you love Disney movies so much, then learn from Aladdin and see, it's a whole new world. Just do it. And stop being an asshole.